we're back and here is a list of five of the good, the bad and the... <laughs> it was alright, as suggested by you guys. Excellent. It's Terry time, says I feel like we all ought to nominate Monkey for a worst TV show's video, so you have to include it. But I can't, though. It was great, and it absolutely was, wasn't it? Sayuki, also known as Monkey Magic, due to its theme song lyrics, is a Japanese television drama that aired from 1978 to 1980 on Nippon TV. It was also shown in the UK, with an English overdub, of course. It's an adaptation of the 16th century Chinese novel Journey to the West, and it was produced by Nippon TV and International Television Films. It was actually filmed in northwest China and Inner Mongolia. The central character, Monkey, Son Goku, is depicted as a stone monkey born from an egg on a mountain top. He evolves into a skilled fighter and the audacious king of a monkey tribe. I absolutely loved this TV series when I was a kid. I still think it's unbelievably fabulous. And uh, I was on TV with this guy. Does anybody know that? I'm sure I must have told you before. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't like you at all. <laughs> Max Cup of Tea? Says another suggestion is Captain Butler staring Craig Charles. Even Wikipedia says there is not much plot in this series when trying to describe the episodes. Looks like they broke into the local secondary school's drama department during half term and borrowed the sets and costumes. I remember it being on Channel 4 late at night and not even lasting the full series before being dropped. Captain Butler was a British sitcom broadcast on Channel 4 in 97. Consisted of six episodes, featured Craig Charles as Butler, the captain of a diverse group of pirates. Set in the 18th century amid the transitional period between the Golden Age of Piracy and the Napoleonic Wars, Captain Butler chronicles the escapades of a ragtag crew of pirates under the leadership of... Uh, captain Butler, of course. Despite the historical backdrop... Deliberate anachronisms are introduced, such as the inclusion of figures like Blackbeard and Admiral Horatio Nelson, blurring the temporal setting of the story. A lovely day for seafaring, eh, fellows? Now, which one of you chaps is Captain Butler? Oh, give it away, I would! Pleasure to meet you, sir. It's not as easy as that, young lad. Done any sailing before? Can you navigate? Richard, take the helm. Paddle? What are you like on the basics, Roger? I'm all right with the basics, sir. Well, look, let's just stop farting about, fellas. We'll have three chicken tikka masalas and juggle cold water. <laughs> so, by my calculations, we should be able to intercept them right here, sir. Right. What about no beard, then? <laughs> That's the kind of thing, sir. No beard. Well, there you go, then. Thank you very much, sir. Pleasure, lad. Okay, here's another one that somebody liked. Graham Smith, 5768, said Shelley was brilliant. So Shelley's a British sitcom produced by Thames Television and it aired on ITV in two separate runs, initially from July the 12th, 79 to January the 12th, 84, and then from October the 11th, 88 to September the 1st, 92. The series revolves around Dr James Shelley, portrayed by Howell Bennett, who starts at 28 years old but ages to 35 by the end of the sixth series as a cynical, chronically unemployed freelance layabout with a doctoral degree. Throughout the show, Bennett's character is accompanied by Belinda Sinclair as Shelley's girlfriend Fran during the original run and Josephine Tewson as his landlady, Edna Hawkins. That is getting on. 
Getting on? He's Harold Macmillan's grandfather. <laughs> Don't they ever retire, Vickers? They let me into his bring and buy Christmas bazaar for free. Was it any good? Nah, a load of rubbish. I got your present there, actually. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> Father Christmas, Mrs. Jack. <laughs> Who do you think it is, Nanooka the North? <laughs> Hello, Mum. Now, I hope you wouldn't use that kind of language in a barrack room, Ma. <laughs> or on board ship, because you defend people. Excellent. The Midnight Eucharist at 11.35 adds some sparkle to your Christmas Eve on BBC One. I'm the best, so do not test the top of my profession. The Baltimore Movie Trailer Pack says, I'm going to answer your question by suggesting a show that I think is a good show. Chef with Sir Lenny Henry. It came stateside on PBS in the mid-90s, and I only watched one or two episodes when it aired. But I did watch a lot of reruns during the 2010s, and when the reruns stopped, I watched the final season on YouTube. I find it to be hilarious. Chef is a British sitcom starring Lenny Henry that aired for 20 episodes across three series from 93 to 96 on the BBC. The series was created and primarily written by Peter Tilbury based on an idea from Lenny Henry and produced for the BBC by Henry's production company Crucial Films. The plot revolves around Henry's character Gareth Blackstock, a talented yet arrogant and tyrannical chef. This is because I'm American, right? No, Spider-Man was an American. I loved him. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Do you know something? I always wanted to run up walls when I was a kid. Having breasts does not make me an inferior human being. I like women, Savannah, and I love breasts. That's all breasts with very few exceptions whatsoever. Is everything all right, sort of thing? Of course it is, Everton. Why'd you ask? Oh, nothing, Chef. If this involves anything inflatable, I really do not want to... <laughs> it would. I threw myself into it like a man possessed, and that is what you have got to do, son. Well, don't forget the grand opening next week. Cyril, you can stick your grand opening up your grand opening. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't like you at all. Okay, and let's round it off with a worst one then, just to, you know, trigger everybody off. Okay, Ross M3838. Two days ago, and he edited this as well, so God knows what it said originally, but he says, A couple I recommend include Game Shakers, which was a standard Dan Schneider fetishism, but on the decline. I don't know what that sentence means. A pair of schoolgirls create a video game and immediately become multi-millionaires. They buy a large building in New York and fill it with all their game ideas. Yep, this was a real show. And this is the one I'm going to select for today's video, Space 1999. This show was as bad as UFO was great, and that's very. It was dry, dull and witless. The acting seemed as wooden as the earlier puppets, and the whole thing seems to have been filmed through a smudged lens. So Space 1999 is a British science fiction television series that aired for two series from 75 to 77. In the inaugural episode, set in 1999, a catastrophic explosion of nuclear waste stored on the moon's far side propels it out of the Earth's orbit, along with the moon base Alpha and its 311 inhabitants, into the vastness of space. Commander Koenig, while piloting Eagle 10, became suddenly irrational and unresponsive. He crashed in the area of the nuclear waste domes. Why the risk? If I don't take the risk... No, not before we left Earth. Things have changed. Physics hasn't changed. That thing is traveling faster than the speed of light. Helen, what's the matter with you? Tony. Helena. Maya, what's the matter with you? And there you have it, there's a list of five, bit of a mixed bag for you, some that are bad, some that are good, and some that are, eh, they're alright. 
Did I miss any out? Let's have all your suggestions here. Let's keep doing lists of five things, okay? And let's mix it up a bit. So give me your worst TV shows, your best TV shows, your forgotten TV shows, your underrated TV shows. Give me all your suggestions and let's throw them all together into a video. Hit the like button, please. It's the little thumbs up button there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Share this video with your pals and all that great YouTubey stuff. And a quick shout out for my other YouTube channel, which is named Eerie's Vault, in which I take newspaper articles from our newspaper archives about weird and creepy things that happened in the United Kingdom that involved sightings of some sort of creature, alien, a monster or ghost type thing. If you're into all that nonsense, then pay a visit to Eerie's Vault. There's a link in the description of this video. Bye for now.